All right, welcome back campers. I'm Chris. And I'm Elizabeth. And today we're gonna do a little fly fishing. I know, I know this uh, doesn't make a lot of sense because a week ago we were in Lake Powell. So uh, we've been doing a lot of going back and forth, trying to get everything secured and set up. And unfortunately we don't have a lot of control over that. So it's been a lot of jumping back and forth. We came back a lake from Lake Powell and we had our little Honda Ridge line that we drove to California to pick up from Guam off the ship. And fly out here and pick up our, our boat. stuff. Yeah, boat in our truck. Uh, it threw a fan blade through the radiator. And then after that uh, stranded us, our boat started running like crap. So we it stranded us in the middle of the lake. All right, so video might come a little later this week than normal. We're having a little bit of a kerfuffle here. Uh, our 2020 brand Mercury 60 horsepower uh, was not running the greatest at Lake Powell. We took it to a mechanic and they said, uh, didn't see anything wrong with it. So here we are uh, paddling against the wind in the middle of a lake uh, for an hour so far and we've made very little progress because the wind you can see has already turned the boat around so video might not be coming out this week but uh we're doing our best uh, at least to get back to shore and uh, figure something out so, no idea what that could be we've got the boat sorted out, the Honda knot, but what we're gonna do this morning is go trout fishing here in Western North Carolina and see if I can fly fish for the first time in five years and she can <laughs> catch her first North Carolina trout on a spinner and see if we can have a catch and cook and some lunch today. So one of the good news items is that we actually got our new motorcycle, motorcycle hauler. It's raining again. I really enjoy the rain. But what I don't enjoy is that my dog here is wearing a rain jacket. I feel lesser of a man right now. Also, the rain jacket is of a public school. <laughs> no dog of mine will be wearing public school garb. It's disgusting. I love that. <laughs> the motorcycle's not on it, however. <laughs> Um, but we did get it, so that's a good thing. So we're gonna hop down in the river. Uh, we're about 30 minutes later than I wanted to be here, so some of the spots, better spots are taken. Um, so we're gonna scramble down this really steep bank here and see if we can get on some trout. Come on, fam. <laughs> I'm just showering myself. Because if you wear pants, and the pants absorb the cold water, so you gotta wear shorts, which expose your sensitive skin to mosquitoes. All right, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we got up really early and we drove to a spot we thought would be awesome to fish. And turns out we didn't even see a fish. We didn't even spook a fish. Crystal clear water. It's one of those places where if there was one, you'd spook it and you'd see it. Uh, no bites, no fish we saw. And uh, about 7 a.m., everybody and their brother came. Oh, dearie me, that's a nice one. Uh, uh, let's check that one. All righty, all right. Uh, to fish that same piece of water 
and trout fishing is not a lot of fun if there's just uh, people all over the place and that's the place we were fishing there was called Davidson River and that's one of the most popular uh, fishing places for trout in North Carolina and probably the East Coast. So, so we uh, moved to a different spot. This spot is uh, not hatchery supported so it's just wild trout in here so it's not going to have as many fish but this is more our style a, a little bit of a walk to get in here but hopefully we can find a fish down in this pretty little creek and have a fish taco with some Velveeta cheese. For a good morning breakfast. We are not um, early morning people. We're usually night owls. So we put in the extra effort to get up early this morning for this occasion. Hopefully it pays off. A little frustrated, but a nice hike. And it's not raining yet. It looks like it will, but hopefully not. Let's get down here and see if we can find some fish. So the good news, looking at the trail, it rained pretty heavy last night, and the only human footprint we saw looked like maybe where somebody was putting their foot down from a mountain bike. So shouldn't be a lot of fishing competition in here as compared to the other place, because you have to walk a little while to get it in here even to the river, and then you just kind of walk in the river as the trail to uh, get around. So it really weeds out how many people want to come in here, and it's not hatchery supported. You're just catching kind of native wild fish. So anyway, we're on this cool little bridge and we're going to see if we can find some fish in here. Little suspension bridge and Mona doesn't like heights very much. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> stuff in North Carolina gets super thick. Um, you'd think that like a temperate forest wouldn't be very thick and lush, but all this rhododendron creates such thick walls and it is like crawling through the jungle, especially because it rains so often here. It's always wet. Creeping up on me now once again So we sing the song tonight Be the ghost that will not die Somehow seems to haunt me till the end Do you feel the same? For what once remained Yesterday is gone, we can't go back again Do you ever cry for the ghost of days gone? As you can see, someone got a little bit tired on our last river that we just went to. It was a very cold mountain river and it had a lot of current and she tried to swim against that current the whole time, which is awesome for us because it gets her tired, but you can see it uh, absolutely killed her enthusiasm for life for the rest of the day. Uh, but awesome for us because she's going to be super chill. That's hard to accomplish with a high energy dog. It seems so long ago Beyond the life that I now know Before the years would have their way And break my heart All right, third river. This is the third river we've been to today. Before we caught a fish uh, we've been all over now we're on this tiny 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 little creek here to catch our lunch <laughs> so the goal today was one fish for a catch and cook and this is the third river we woke up really early this morning and now it's a little bit past noon so we've been fishing for almost four or five hours and this is the only fish that we've had hit and the only fish that we've landed it's probably uh five or six miles of hiking through mostly wading through creeks this morning but we finally got this little uh, pretty little stocked rainbow trout here 
and uh, we're gonna cook this up and have a little. Um, it's gonna be tacos. It's it's of always course. gonna be a burrito. <laughs> but we're gonna head back to the truck camper and make this beautiful little fish into a burrito. burrito. You know what this means though is that we've only had one fish hit. And we landed it. That's a 100% success rate. That is. <laughs> hours and hours and hours of fishing. Uh, we caught one fish, 100%. So. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're going to plop this into our Yeti Not Yeti. And by Yeti Not Yeti, I mean a hefty zipper freezer bag with no ice in it. But it's pretty cold out here today. And they trotter in cold water. This should be good enough to uh, get it back to the truck camper. We're going to try to get up on the parkway and uh, find a cool place to overlook to cook from. The problem is, is that the Blue Ridge Parkway, another reason I don't like uh, the National Park Service is they just close roads down. There's no, I have, we just drove up this road for 20 minutes and then you get up here and there's a gate closed. There's no sign. There's nothing telling you that this is closed. Um, so my favorite thing is government control and gates and fences on everything because we just drove by this thing two days ago and it was open. We made a loop on our uh, little CRF 300L, just a joyride. But now it's closed, so we're going to park here at the gate of it, which means we're technically not on park service land, which means we can get a cool drone shot of this. So, all right, let's cook this fish, which is in this backpack that is not on ice. that has been in here for about 30 or 40 minutes. And let's have some lunch. <laughs> we're driving around in our cool mobile home, but we are not going to cook fish in our cool mobile home because uh, the smell can sort of linger when you cook fish. So instead, we are going to use our new hauler for our motorcycle as a mini table, and we're gonna use Chris's camping stove that he's had for who knows how long, and cook the fish right here. I got this in Nepal, in uh, all those backpacking stores, because they make a lot of the equipment in India and China. There's like black market shops that it's unbranded stuff, and I'm pretty sure this is either a Jetboil brand without the label on it, or uh, MSR, or one of the nicer brands, but. Actually, I've had this thing, uh, bought it in Kathmandu, Nepal, about 10 or 15 years ago. It's been a good little stove. I paid nowhere near the prices. It's like $2 <laughs> that you would buy to, at REI or one of those other places. REI would probably be pretty steep in comparison. <laughs> okay, let's do the most unsavory thing we're going to do all day and dump a warm trout out of a Ziploc bag into a frying pan. Ready? Go ahead. Glorp. Mmm. Mmm. But you know what? It's nothing that a little liquid gold can't fix. Liquid gold makes everything better. Even a glorped out trout. Is it possible to get sponsored by Velveeta? I would love to. So I have to hold the frying pan because our frying pan is far too large for our little uh knockoff brand stove here and it will slip off um so i have to hold the frying pan while she attempts to uh Season. put some sodium and some pepper it's and something else on here it's good because it's all clumped up uh -oh. Uh -oh. okay we've got the pepper working and our salt is clumped up so we'll use some garlic powder. And our favorite go-to spice ever is smoked paprika. We still really want salt, so uh, our Mima and Peepaw got us this amazing burger seasoning. I'm pretty sure it's from Aldi. So this will be our salt and whatever else is an amazing burger seasoning. Are you wafting? <laughs> Waft. <laughs> Don't huff it. Waft it. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so we got most of the meat picked off of our, our uh, 18, 22... <laughs> Probably 22 inch fish here, a little rainbow. Um, 
which aren't native to North Carolina. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but a fun fact, these are native to like California. A lot of people used to call these California trout. In fact, my grandfather still calls these California trout because they're associated with California because that's when they came in and they didn't, maybe a hundred years ago, these things started getting stocked here. Anyway, uh, we got most of the meat off this and now we're going to gank it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now we're gonna make our quesadillas. Our ca tacos, quesadillas? Or if we're sticking with uh, things that my grandpa used to say, uh, quesadillas. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make California trout quesadillas. Are we putting anything in our quesadillas? Is that from? go. <laughs> Just cheese and meat, and that's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> go ahead and say it one more time. You know you want to. Liquid gold, good for your hole and good for your soul. It is 70 to 80 percent bone free, guaranteed. For your money back? Oh, yeah. Got our big paper spatula here. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Just drizzle it on? Oh yeah. Whoa. Don't be shy. I'm not a shy guy or a dry guy. <laughs> You're an outgoing wet guy? I'm moist with a voice. <laughs> Woo. That is an on the fly opposite. I appreciated that. Mm. So this is, it took three trout streams today um, to find this one small fish. And uh, so whatever this fish tastes like, and I don't care how many 5,000 bones are in it, you know the game. I'm gonna look you dead in ass in the eyes and lie to you and tell you this is the greatest thing we've ever eaten. Just like all the other travel channels. Every single one. You mm -hmm. can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. We have olive oil, crisped flour tortillas with Velveeta shells and cheese, cheese and uh, a trout that was just in the water 40 minutes ago. Crispy, salty, with Taco Bell Diablo sauce. <laughs> you can't go wrong here. No. So fishing today, overall a success. We just wanted to pick our spirits up a little bit with the Honda being in the shop and the boat being in the shop, kind of things breaking down. So kind of lift yourself up and go catch a fish and make yourself lunch. I will say it was not an overall success. <laughs> I will say traveling to three different rivers to catch one fish is not an overall success, but <laughs> we do get to have uh, fish quesadillas. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the uh, but we'll be back for next video. Stay tuned for next video. Or don't. A lot of y'all unsubscribe. So that, please don't do that. <laughs> you guys unsubscribe within the next video being put up. I'll pander to your political <laughs> viewpoints if you want. <laughs> Just let us know. Mm. Does Mona want some fish? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna feed Mona a little piece. I don't know if you've seen, but we wear a shirt a lot that has her in uh, ramen noodles when she got some shrimp and ramen. Uh, so we made a little thing, even though it's not on camera all the time, where she gets a little bit of the catch too. Oh, hi, sleepyhead. Yeah, some fish. What is this? Oh, good girl. What is that? Oh, what's that? We didn't even second guess that. Mm. <laughs> Clean it all up. Oh girl. yeah, there's some piece. Hey, there's a piece right there. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You have a good day.